here at Yorkshire Water, we're delighted to be supporting National Gardening Week. Gardening can make a big difference to the lives of those in Yorkshire, and enjoying plants and seeing them grow and bloom can definitely support your well-being in these difficult times. There are lots of ways you can get involved in gardening, whether it be having house plants inside, or utilising any outdoor space you have, no matter how small. Our education team have been getting out in their gardens this week. Here they are to share their top water conservation tips. There's even an activity you can do with the children at home. We'd love to see pictures if you give it a go. Today we're going to talk about water efficiency in the garden. We've got a rain gauge here. We've been monitoring the amount of rain and it has been quite dry. So I've now filled up my watering can from the water butt in the garden and I'm going to water some of the garden over here. We have some mulches on the garden which helps with water retention. If you want to improve the soil structure in your vegetable plot, it's a good idea to incorporate some manure in the soil before planting. This will help improve the soil structure, help it retain water for a lot longer. The best time of day to water the garden is the evening. That way, the water has time to soak right down into the soil instead of getting evaporated by the hot sunshine. As you can see, I have some raised beds here in the garden where I grow my produce. It's really important that the filling in, this, in these raised beds retains moisture. So in the soil I've mixed some compost and some manure and then before, before planting. In dry weather, leave your lawns uncut. Not only will it save you watering, but a few dandelions are great for wildlife. <sighs> Choosing your pots wisely is also important when trying to save water in the garden. Clay pots or terracotta pots, they're highly porous, so they will actually suck moisture away from the soil. Metal pots, they heat up very quickly, so again will increase the evaporation of the water. You're best to stick with either a plastic pot or a glazed pot. If you're not a fan of plastic pots, you could always hide your plastic pot inside something else. And also remember to group your pots together, because that will cast shade around the roots and that will slow down evaporation as well. I also make sure that I use water efficiently by only watering using the water out of my water butts and using a, a, a watering can so I'm not using a hose which will waste water. I've been thinking how to make my watering in the garden easier. I put my planters near the back door so any excess water I have I can put straight into my planters. I've also planted plants like this geranium which doesn't need as much water, so I can keep alive during dry spells. If you're anything like me and frequently forget to water plants in pots, a really good tip is to pop some pebbles or some gravel on the top of the pot. This stops the water evaporating quite so quickly, will save you some water and might save you a few plants as well. Well how about making a simple rain catcher for your garden? It's really easy to do. All you need is an empty milk bottle, the larger the better. Simply cut off the bottom and then attach upside down with string to a fence post somewhere where you're going to catch lots of rain. You can even decorate it if you want to like I have. And then when there's rain in there, you just simply grab your watering can, undo the lid at the bottom and transfer that water into your watering can to water your plants. Please consider water efficiency. Look at Yorkshire Water's website for further information. Thank you.